question. Do we ever cheat on our husband? I didn't think I would, but do we? <laughs> do I have to trip acid to like see you again or how's it work? Because I don't really want to keep doing this acid, but I do like talking to you. Do Hello? I Hello? Hello? Hey, who's up? What's up? Have have I ever been arrested? Because I've come close a few times. <laughs> Perfect. I will stay away. I will try my best to stay away from that. Have I ever... Did I ever make it across the country to the cross-country trip thing? Did I ever do that? Because I've been saving, but... Do I ever do it? Cool. Alright. Question. Sure. Not uh, you. For me. I thought maybe you had a flavor <laughs> done. Alright, go. Question. Okay, wait, 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 and go. Question. Do we ever cheat on our husband? I didn't think I would, but do we? <laughs> mm. Do I have to trip acid to like see you again or how's it work? Because I don't really want to keep doing this acid, but I do like talking to you. Do Hello? I? Hello? Hello? Hey, who's up? What's up? Is that T? Yeah, it's it's T. Who's this? What's that? Are you ready to do another scene? Well yeah, I'm finishing up here, uh, and I'll be done this I think in five minutes. Well, I'm about to be finished. I'm gonna. I can uh, be up in five minutes to do it. She's just doing her monologue right now. Okay. So I'll be done in five minutes, though. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. I'll come up and then we'll do it. All right. Sweet. So pick the place you want to go. Okay. Or if you want to go down here, just wait five minutes. Okay. okay ready? Go. So I have. To this know. is the end. Last ten minutes. Whatever you got left. Mhm. Mm do I? If I? If I like drop acid again. Am I going to see you in like 10 years from now? 20 years from now? Is this going to happen like every fucking time I do this? <laughs> or is there a place I can get through meditation? Is there a way I can do it? Can I like channel this? Can, do, am I, is this like in my own power? Like in myself? Right now? Do I, do I have that, this energy in me to create you again? And I can ask you anything. Do, do I, am I like in another dimension giving my 12 year old self advice the way yeah. you're like, you know? Am I, am I sitting somewhere talking to, to, to me when I was like seven right now? And is she talking to somebody? Is she talking to herself when she was two? And is it is two year old talking to the womb? And is the womb talking to mom? God, that's good acid. Can I... Can I talk to myself as myself in the future, talking to myself from the past? The, the, the spirit gets confused. Say it again. Be like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're like, all right, wait. Uh, this, I mean like this. I mean it like this. I mean like this. Like, follow me here. It's like, if I... Okay, um, if I'm 22, can I talk to myself when I'm 30, talking to myself at when I was 22, talking to myself at 30? Like a conference call. It's like a, like a conference call. It would be like, hello, hi, I'm 22, hey, I'm 30. Oh, hey, I'm 22-year-old talking to the 30-year-old self, but the th hi, I'm the 30-year-old self talking to the 22-year-old self talking to the 30-year-old self. It's like comes full circle, you know? Would that work out? Can I like, do that? Can I like, plan that? <laughs> Whoa! When do we die? Can I... Well, if I die, can I talk to my dead self? Because technically... 
technically my dead self would be dead. I don't know that if that would work. But maybe. No, maybe. I mean, like, that's... Mm, what's dead, really? I mean, dead, like... Yeah, like, my mortality. I die, I die. But it's like... Maybe I'm dead now. It may be your life. <sighs> 30 second wrap up. And, and, we, and you get up when you're done. And if you're alive and I'm dead, that's not going to work out. I have to be alive and you have to be dead. Or we can, we're, we're both living and we are one. Yeah. Cool. So I'll probably I'm gonna like talk to you soon, man. And I'm gonna we're gonna get this shit figured out. And we're gonna work it out, and then we're gonna talk to us later. Cause that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. you. Like, do you like fly? Is it like you like you like 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 Star Trek? Yeah. Zoom, or do, do you, you fly? To, like, like, how's it work? Do you like? Do you like go? Are you looking like walk upstairs and like at the door? <laughs> Do you fly? Do you just like teleport? Are you just gonna like go away? <laughs> like, because I want to see it. Like, like what's? Right. And you're like, and the person's like, no, I'm just gonna walk away now. Yeah. I'd be like, that is so lame. You're yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> really? like, I guess I'm coming down. You're just gonna. Okay, that's. It's actually that's it's really lame. Mm. But cool. Nice to meet you. Nice to know us. Cool, take care, man. <laughs> it was nice to meet you. I mean, I mean, it's nice to meet me. I mean, nice. I mean it's nice to meet me. Nice to meet. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Because I'm going to get a tight shot of you uh, shaking some other girl's hand. Yours. So say that last line. Nice to meet you. Mm, us. Nice to meet us. Take care. Good. Let's do a second take of that, right? Go, actually. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet us. We are awesome. <laughs> take care of yourself. I'll take care of myself. We will take care of ourselves. <laughs> and that's cool, man. I'm, I'm glad we did this. It's awesome. And I, I wouldn't mind if my life, you know, ends up being just like this. I would, this that would, would be, be a nice compliment for her. Yeah, I wouldn't mind if my life ended up like, like yours. Like... Like mine and yours, <laughs> like us. I wouldn't mind if if I ended up like you. That'd be cool. I guess the only way I can go wrong is if I don't end up me. I guess the only way that that would work out is if I don't end up as. No, the only way. I mean, the only way that I could screw this up. The only way I could screw my life up is just by not being me. Then. Mm -hmm. Okay. I suppose that the. Uh, the only way that I could screw that up is if I'm, is if I'm not really me. Twins, yeah, that'd be cool. Get some twins. But that's nice, still having kids. <sighs> so I ever like win, win like a really big scratch ticket? Because I play a lot, you know. <laughs> what are like some issues that we're gonna go through? Like, what do we? Do I ever? Do I ever? Do I ever like really piss somebody off and they really hate me? Cause that that sucks. I don't want to do that. <laughs> do I ever like? Is like there's like a freak accident that I'm involved in? Do I ever overdose? Ever. Well, that's good. <laughs> Confused is a really good word. I am. There's a lot of different choices I could have made, and I, I can make, and I don't. God, it's like a lot on my plate. And I can go in like 50 fucking thousand directions, right? And <laughs> that like, that's some scary shit. And I'm, and I'm just really hoping that I make the right one. Or the wrong one. And then the right one. <laughs> just somehow end up 
there. <laughs> so yeah, I'm a, I'm a little scared. I'm a lot scared. Speaking as you, as you're older, you, um, you don't look happy. Like you, you don't look like you're happy that you're graduating. <laughs> I'm happy because I think it's a really, it's a really big thing I did. Huge. A lot of people don't do it. But I, I wonder, like, did I really need a degree? Do I really need a degree to sit in a cube? If that's what I'm gonna do for marketing? Do I really, did I really need to spend this much money and get this much in debt? See, yeah, that makes me kind of pissed off actually. I'm kind of pissed off that this country says that I need to do that. When I could be successful not having a degree. Maybe I made some wrong choices. Maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have dropped out. I don't know. I'm happy that I did the work. I'm unhappy that it costs me four years that I just put in, and it's going to cost me four years plus to pay it back. That's fucked up. I'm unhappy that I'm going to be leaving these people. You know, a lot of them are, are crazy. I like that a lot. We're all kind of all over the place, so it makes you feel f you fit in somewhere. Somewhere and nowhere, and that's cool. And now we're going to be separate, and, and I have to start over again. Again, I have to start over. And that's, that's, that's worrisome. <laughs> that's worrisome. Excellent. Um, she says to you, um, you know, when we were little, do you remember all the things we used to want to be when we grew up? Mm -hmm. And, um, like, <laughs> t tomorrow, you're, you, you know, you, you have the chance to, to, to make a choice that's going to lead to me or something different and uh, be like, you know, so what, what choice are you going to make? And you can say, hey, you know, like, I don't know, but that would be, I think, a good question. Like whether you get to me or not depends on the things you choose. Like what's your ne what's your next like what's your next move? Like ask her what direction I should. I I think it'd be like you know I think her question is going to be like she, I, she can't she's like no one can tell you that I can't even me and your future can't tell you that I am but a one choice, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a collection of choices you've made. Can I say that? that I think that's something that they'll say. But if you want to say like are you a question of mm -hmm. choices that's changeable right. or is just oh, like fate okay. like I, what is this is this is this me no matter what I do like right. I might as well yeah, kill yeah. myself now if I don't right. like it <laughs> sort of like that alright so I'll go closer and go. so now that I know what I am we are will be <laughs> do I have to worry about anything do I have to do anything really special is this just the way it's gonna be like if I like if I choose not to go to that internship, is this is this gonna change this? Mm. So if I if I didn't go and I and I just worked at a cafe for a little while, do you think that I would end up in this in this place that you're at? Cause it seems pretty awesome. Um, yeah. the, the idea of like um, I, I am but one like I'm one destination in, in a series of choices you could get to an infinite number of results do you I'd be like be like do you realize the math do you understand the math mm -hmm. does it boggle your mind like do you, do you understand the nature of reality and maybe you're just like I, I think I, no I guess I don't like yeah. and then like I you know so in other words she's gonna overwhelm you a bit here with like mm -hmm. be like you don't have mm -hmm. any like, you don't have a clue uh, because no one does, and you really have to start to think about it. And you, you're beginning the biggest gift in the world, this experience, which is, is is real. No one can see me, but guess what? Does it make me not real? And that's it. So go ahead, let's just riff on that, and let's see what happens. So. So you're saying that I could just, I could, everything I say is is changing who who you are right now. Everything's affecting me five, ten, twenty thousand years from now. <laughs> what? That's, that means that every, every choice that I've, that I'm making or I've made is some, it's its own, it's its own fucking formula to some, to some product. And there's like, 
so many different products that I could possibly be. Are they good? They're, is each of them are right. I don't want to make the wrong one. I don't want to. I don't want to put in the wrong variable in there. Like that's gonna fuck me up. You know? There's. Wow. That's just like. That's nut balls. That's wild. That's some wild shit. Because I don't want to. If I could actually create. If I could create the perfect formula for. For me in the future, if I can do that now. Then I'm like really golden, right? I probably, I mean, we could probably do that. I mean, somehow I've created this formula for you, and, and it's it's looking pretty pretty good to me. So, if I can just methodically plan out, well, I guess you probably can't, because there's there's other things that really do affect you, right? They're like outside of your own choices. Yeah. Uh. Wow. So I've yeah, got... Yeah, be like, dude, this is freaking... I can't keep, like... Yeah, I'm is, smart, but I can't, yeah, like... Yeah, this is a lot. Like, I'm I'm, I'm pretty smart, but this is, like... This is pretty heavy. I'm kind of confused, actually. This is this is a lot. <laughs> hey, let's graduate and then do math again. That's awesome. Uh, wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Whew. Well, that... I'm, like, sweating now. That's crazy. I'm also just really, I'm like worried now, again. Because now I have like even more, I have like options on my options. And then, and then like that's just tiny little thing that makes this huge life that I'm gonna live. And is it gonna be good or not? Like, that's all up to me? That's like... Wow, that's like really fucked. <laughs> okay. Why, why, you're asking the older version, you know, is it, is it as hard as it seems, like, kids, marriage, just being an adult, like, is it, is it as bad, is it, you know, and then the, I think the person's going to say, well, it's good and bad, it's, mm -hmm. it's got this, you know, but, you know, kind of like, enjoy whatever you're in, you know, like, mm -hmm. enjoy this period, you know, but I think uh, that's a fair quote, like, what's it really like having that responsibility? Yeah. Because you lose your freedom a couple of years in your adulthood. Right. Awesome. Next. Now you got you got to hit your mark. You got to stay. The okay, fine. Let's just do this bullshit. Okay, I'm here now. So can you just call me back like in five minutes or so? Just call me tomorrow, okay? Thank you. Is this it? Fix each other. Fix each other up. Okay, good. Stop. Go back. Okay, excellent. One last time. We need to play 
stop. Jose, I'm, not, I'm seeing the back of your neck. So either give me full front or, yeah, profile, exactly, good. All right. <laughs> and of course, a, you know, blue. Action. You gotta look, and I gotta look, gotta look up there so I can see you. Now maybe you're getting your composure because you're, you're 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 breathing hard. You're getting your composure. Like you know, you just wrap. Go. Excellent. I love that. Okay, action. Jonah. Hold up one second. I'm on the phone. What? What are you doing? Just one second. I'm on the phone. Why can't you open the door for that? What? Jeez. I'm on the phone. What are you doing? All right, and you're, you're pissed. You just opened the door. So I, see, I saw her. Yeah, and then yeah. And two and one, go. Actually, I gotta go this way for you. Actually, I can't because I got that light. So you have to go out this way on me. Am I walking? Yeah, you're gonna walk okay. through there. Okay, okay now g give me a second, right, and action. All right, good, now you stop. Don't move anything. Him in bed. I'm, I think you'd be a little more either, I don't know, upset or perplexed or fucked up or something. So it's your best friend and, and your boyfriend. Okay, and I'm gonna get one last shot on the thing. I mean, you're, so you're stunned. Three, two, and that's much better. I like that. Okay, three, two, and one. Okay, hold on. All right, eight. that's very good. Okay, I am oh, done. So that's good. No, I really did. No, oh now she's lost it. Don't do it. She really got it there at the end. She got it at the end. I said, I said, she got it at the end. Yeah, because it was nailed. Three, two, one, go. Shh, let's be quiet down there. Thanks. Okay. Okay, good. Done. In action. Try it again. Even though I know you guys are in character, I wanted you guys to have that front yeah. line. Try again. In India, with all our families, right? Yeah. Going off to medical school together. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They would pretty much be the happiest people ever. <laughs> I just... I feel like that's the only thing they really want that's from us. That's pretty much. <laughs> they want their perfect little Indian grandchildren and their two doctors in the family. Compare that to what you want for your kids just, when you have them. I want my kids to like know something different, just experience something different. Like not everything has to be like cut and dry and one way and uh, one road. Like, I feel I want them to just know different people and experience different things and be able to not think about. I don't. I don't know. I honestly, I honestly can't talk about this anymore. I'm freaking out right now. You guys are just like. Piling shit on top of shit. This should be a fun night, but for... At least you have a plan. I have half of a plan. My plan is that I'm good at something. That's my plan. And, at least and I don't you even know, know if I can pursue at. it. I'm gonna try to. And that's more than I can say about either of you. I 
this brain. I know, I'm sorry. I'm only good at being a slut. I didn't say that. I yeah, sure, sure. I'm going on tours, but when I when when I'm on tour, I miss you. I want, I want, I think about you so much, yeah. baby. You know this, mm -hmm. so don't, don't, don't make it seem you as if as if I'm not like even. You can't just say it like, oh, I think of you. Like I do. It's I, fucked up, man. Like you, what do you, you mean? don't, you don't care. You don't, you don't. You don't call me when I like, try to talk to you. You don't care. You don't even ask me how the fuck I am ever, ever. No, we haven't really talked in a long time, but you can't deny that. But I, I, I don't think I've changed that much. That's why I'm here. <laughs> I brought you in here for reasons, and I'm, I'm serious. You, really? Because you, you think like one conversation is just going to like fucking change everything that you've done? No, nah, I just want you to see that I'm still, we, we, we still fuck each other. You change. You are the one that that changed this. Who you are now is not who I started with. This isn't my responsibility to change with you that way. I can't. Uh, that's not fair. Warren, I'm still, I'm still that guy four years ago. I haven't changed. I mean, yeah. Because you give me the cold fucking shoulder tonight. Do you, do you ever ask me do why you, I do, do that? Do you know how you, you, know how you were tonight? Do you know how you were tonight? I was staring at you and you turn your fucking head as yeah, if, as if we haven't had history. Yeah, because you disgust me right now. How do I fucking disgust you, Sam? Seriously. You want to know? Finally, after all these fucking years, you want to know? Yeah, tell me how the fuck because do I you, disgust you? Because you are living this this lonely little fucking dream of yours, and you've let everybody who loved you so much, you let them go. Sam, you I've let, never you let you go. Yes, you Don't did. Say yes, that you shit. did. Do not. No. Really? No. Yes, really. Don't say that shit to me. I've never let you go. All right? Then why, why now, after all this time? After how because, many cocktails are you able to even fucking talk to me? It's not about, about the shit? fucking cocktail, Sam. It's because we're fucking graduating. And for me... And why, for why, me, are, why no, did you graduate? I need, Tell I need, me. How I many need classes to did you... That's how many not, classes did you actually fucking attend? That, that doesn't even matter. You ride the, the fucking ride. That's that doesn't all you even, do. Sam, just shut up for a second, please. All right? What I'm trying to tell you is that that shit does not even matter about... Oh, you know, like what's next, or, or or any of that bullshit. The fact is that I am where I fucking mm -hmm. where I fucking am. And you should be there. And I should no, be not no, there. that's not it. That's, that's that. That's not what I want. What the the reason I brought you in this room is because I really wanted to let you know that I can't do this without you. I'm I'm serious. You've done it without me. Yes, but. I don't know you what do the it. fuck is you're next. The, you're the star. You're I don't know what's, like, what's next, Sam. I don't know. My my records, it doesn't have to fucking sell. You understand what I'm saying? I do not know what is next. Okay. But I I need you. Why? Um, because. Okay, look at us. Look at us in five years. Look at us in five years, four years, two years. I'm on your little stinky ass bus with your little band, your little groupies. What am I doing? What am I doing? Am I sitting there? Am I doing nothing? Am I am I saying, oh yeah, I'm dating that guy because I've dated him from fucking college and we should be together because we love each other so much. It am I doing that? No, like I can't that, do that. It doesn't have to be like that though. You're paying you're paying like some fucking like stereotype of what? I'm not. Of I'm what not. the music business is. It doesn't have to be like that. You're gonna be on for tour real. every night for years. What am I supposed to do? All I'm saying, wait. All I'm saying is 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 basically this: is that just you know just give me fucking time to like do this music thing. I've given you time. I've given you everything. You've given me nothing. You give me no appreciation. You've given me nothing. What are you talking nothing. about? I give you no appreciation. You never I say thanks I for try. listening to your shit. You Dude. never say thanks for helping me out on my project. You never say thank you for getting my notes from my professor. I give you all, you all never the fucking credit, like Sam. I me. give you. Okay, I'm gonna tell you now. Thank you so much for taking the fucking notes for me. I fucking appreciate it. Thank you so much. But what it boils down to, babe, is that I fucking love you. That's that. That's it. That's. I'm serious. And I need you to know that. I love you so fucking much. I think about you all the fucking time. The songs that I've written, that song I wrote, you know what I'm saying? Like, everyone is fucking dancing to about that girl with the pretty brown eyes. It's fucking you. It's you. Babe, listen, look at me for a second. 
you know, you really know that I love you. So I don't, I don't want you to feel like, okay, how am I gonna fit in in fucking his world or any of that bullshit? Because it doesn't matter. Because I'm being honest with you, you are my world. This music shit, it is what it is. It came because you fucking helped me with this. I've said it. I've told everyone that I've met, I was like, yeah, you know, yeah, I'm in college, and there's this girl I used to date, Sam, and she's the one who wrote it, and she sent it to the uh, producer, they liked it, and stuff like that, and then shit started happening. I've always given you the fucking credit. Don't do that, seriously. I just need you to trust me right now. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I'm done. What do you mean you're done? I'm done with this. I just can't. I can't. Well, what's, what? Why you do why you, do you have you reservations about Because you don't shit? even know. You don't even know me anymore. You don't. This whole this whole conversation is about you. It's about how I need to change for you again, and how I need to be the person for you again. When am I gonna? It's just gonna be the same thing over and over again, and I. Baby, I don't say. have energy for that. I have goals of my own. I have things that I want to do, and I and I'm I'm done. I'm done. Look. I'm. No, don't say that, please. I know you don't mean any of that shit because it's but not I do. about me. It's I do. Not. I do. Why do you think it's about me? <laughs> what? Because it is. It is, and you need you need to go do your thing. And I need to go do my thing, and, and, you know, maybe, maybe years and years and years from now we can cross paths and see them, no, but not, not no, today. No, 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 I'm not going to do that. I'm not, I'm not one of those guys who, who, who you're going to tell, like, okay, well, you know, maybe five years from now, if you cross my path, and if you've changed your career or any of that bullshit, you're making it seem as if people in the music business, they're not even fucking married. Listen. You know who the fuck I am. We've been to, we've been through the same fucking middle school. I mean, we've been through this conversation too many times, and it's it's, I I'm 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 really really tired of it. Aren't you tired of it? No, because I think it's fucking worth it. You still don't get it. You don't get that. You you can't just no. because you say that right now. Just because we're having this conversation right now. And, and you've said it because we've had this conversation before and you've said it in this conversation just because you say it that one time doesn't mean it's real doesn't mean it happens every day doesn't mean you look at me every day and it's new and it's fresh and it's brilliant and it's I love don't, you yes, don't yes you're you right, don't do you're that. right. I, I, I don't. deserve that yes that, and that's and that's what I'm asking for what I'm basically saying is that if you come with me, me if you come you if you come if you come with me on tour just for like just for a fucking year, you don't have to go to graduate school. Not, you don't have to think about that shit. Me. I already have the money. You want me to give up uh, uh, everything money. that I do? Everything. Sam, no one is... I'm not talking about your smarts. I know that you're smart. Everybody outside, they know that you're smart. You took the notes. Yes, we know. But all I'm saying is that right now my career is fucking... It's go, it's go. Baby, this is... this. It, it's going... I can't stop this, and I'm not trying to stop it. I can do this for both of us. So all I'm asking you is just give me a fucking year. Just come on tour with me, please. No. All right? Just come on tour with me, please. Just don't say no. Just come on tour with me, please. No. You guys are doing great. Everyone else doesn't know where their, their next dime is, their next rent check. With me, you have security and love. How can you pass that up? Baby, all right. I'm already there. Everyone else, they're trying to figure their ish out, what's next for them or whatever. You don't have to worry about shit. I already have... Dude, there's a limo outside waiting. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can take you that to wherever. That, that doesn't matter to me. I know it doesn't matter. That's not what I'm saying. Basically, all I'm trying to say is that you don't have to feel, like, insecure as if I'm not going to take care of you. I will. I don't feel... You don't... You're not even listening. I don't feel insecure. So what? I don't feel like you... That, 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 so, that so I'm not going to take so, care of you. I don't so, have finances. So, that, I, uh, that I'm not going to be, like, wealthy. I don't care about that shit. So why can't you just, just like, hold off of school for a year and just... Because you're asking just, me to hold off school for... You're asking me to put my fucking life on hold again. I'm not going to do that. You... I don't know. Are not worth it anymore. 
Well, how the f why can you why why would you even say that to me really that I'm not worth it anymore? Because what, you're, a, what does that mean? Because you, you you're just you're asking me to put down. I I just graduated college. I graduated with you, Sam. What no, the you fuck? didn't. Where were you? Where in the whole time? Because you have a fucking diploma it doesn't mean you were with me. I was. It doesn't matter if I was touring or whatever the fuck it is. I turned my it fucking assignments matter. in. It does matter. I took classes online. Yep. All right. And all and and every one of your professors is okay with you missing their classes because of who you are, where you're going, what you Dude, want, I, and you don't feel a thing about that. No, I did the work. No, you didn't. I di I did the work. Don't tell me I didn't. I didn't do the work. I fucking did the work. I did it online. Yes, yeah, sure. Your, I wasn't your in class, college but experience I did it. is a joke. You have a degree because you you can sing. And you you can make a career. And if and if a professor can say, Oh well I used to teach I used to teach that young man before he became a big superstar, then yeah, you're gonna ride that. Wow. Wow. Yeah, wow, truth fucking hurts, doesn't it? Wow. Sam. And you want me to put everything that I work so goddamn hard on, so goddamn hard on. Wow. You want me to put that aside so I can go sit in your bus and be part of your little dream. Fuck you. I mean, like all this bullshit you're talking about as if <sighs> you don't, <laughs> Sam. I'm a fucking hard worker. I believe right? that for no, yourself. No, you're no, a really no, hard worker. no, 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 not for you're myself. Amazing. You're the, you're a godsend. You're, you're, can I, you're can unbelievable. I talk? Can really? I talk? May I speak, please? Freely. Go. Thank you. For you to fucking tell me that, oh, you know, your college experience was just a fucking joke. You sang your way through college. Mm-hmm. That's bullshit, Sam. I got a fucking scholarship for my academics. When we let were us in high not school, forget. You got a scholarship for okay, it. fine. Let That's us not forget. Let us not forget. And so I'm working my ish. All right. I'm working hard. I'm working hard. Um, taking online classes. All right. I did that shit. Yes, you took some notes for me. Thank you so much. But what the fuck? Yeah. Sorry. All right, guys. So uh, I know some of you. Uh, some of you I don't know. Uh, some of you I don't give a fuck about. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to tell you how it is. Seriously. Um, best of luck to the guys that I love and people that are actually real. To all you fake motherfuckers out there, fuck you. Um, after this, um, pretty much I'm going to be shitting green. My boy Brandon here, we've had some great adventures. You know, we've uh, done some tag teaming, uh, little joys, little horrors, uh, whatever name. It was all good. Uh, but now it's time to move on. So pretty much my new favorite color is going to be green because I'm going to be smoking a lot of weed and making a lot of money and shitting green out of my ass. So just wanted to let you guys know that, alright? That's not healthy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. That's um, as I told you guys, I'm moving on. Um, I just want to say I've learned so much from you guys. So much about me. You guys are not my friends. <laughs> not all of you are my friends. But we... You guys have taught me a lot about myself. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> I love you though. <laughs> I just want to say thanks and, you know, hope there's some contact. If not, I'm still gonna press forward at the end of the day. So. All the best. Cheers to you. Cheers. 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 Good luck to you, man. I love Cheers, you. Philly. Love you, man. Woo. Okay, good. Now. Uh, we did it now. Okay, three, two, one, action. You guys really want me to talk? Yes. yes. Go. <laughs> this is super juvenile, guys. Were we like in the fifth grade? I don't think any of you really wants to hear what I have to say. You know what I'm going to say anyway, right? <laughs> college is basically just a microcosm of life, right? <laughs> so you go to college, you fuck professors, you get A's in your classes. You don't use your degree. Do you know what? None of that fucking matters. I'm gonna sip fine fucking wines and live in Italy with rich men, and none of it's gonna fucking matter. <laughs> I don't care. Just kidding, I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I knew she was black. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, that's a super ugly dress. <laughs> Okay. 
Um, I do have my moments with you guys. Some of you are like, and others I don't, but that's fine, because you will meet people in life that you do not like. And I just want to reminisce back on when Angie had to get her stomach pumped out at the hospital. <laughs> really, really drunk. <laughs> and I stayed there the entire night, missed my test. But you know, that's like a good friend of mine. So I felt like friends about that. I'm sorry. It's a lot. And that's the college life. Get drunk and you'll be steady. Cynical, just I, I want to give a special like, shout out. Yeah. Special shout out to all the girls who helped me on my oral reports. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I couldn't have done it without you. You're in a probe. Without the oral, I don't know what you're talking. Without the oral presentations, <laughs> without all the oral presentations, I couldn't have passed college. And honestly, I wouldn't have my degree without you girls. And I fucking thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you're a loser. Okay. No, you're Alright, everyone went? Everyone good? Okay. What? Like the soul All right, good. Yeah. 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 Oh, 
Get the freak on. I'm a bee. There you go. I'm a bee. I'm a bee. I'm a bee. Is that as loud as this thing gets? Yeah. Let's go. This is my favorite part because it says rich. Rich baby, what what? The <laughs> shit baby, what what? Check me out, check me out. I'm gonna be I'm on top, be never stop, shit. never stop. I'm gonna be Something on like shit. that. <laughs> I don't know the fucking word, whatever. Fuck it. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna oh. be the up few oh, nigga shit. real. I'm gonna be the average brother with soul. I'm gonna be a worldwide oh, international. Oh. I'm gonna be what what? Oh yeah, I'm special. <laughs> I like Oreo now. <laughs> no, I was Oreo. No, I was Oreo. I'm gonna be a shit. No, I put it in the middle then. You idiot. Oh yeah. It's like upside down with you. Like inside out. Oh. Whatever. Okay, you guys. All right, ready to go. I can't believe it. You're finally back. You've been on tour for so long, and it's just, it's so surreal. Did you miss me? Yes. I mean, it's been like, it's been months, and it's like class without you. It's just like, I'm just sitting there like, damn, when is he coming back? And I see you on the television. I hear your music, and it's just like, he's really... <laughs> on the radio he's really on television and it's like you used to sit next to me and it's like it's it's the greatest feel like how does it feel to tour in europe and just the ladies and everything <sighs> well i gotta be honest with you the, the ladies there they're cool but like when none of them compare to you really yeah you know i always have a thing for you in class but i what? never said anything because i was with brandon Okay. Yeah. Are you still with Brandon? Yeah, me and Brandon are still together, but I mean, you're back and you're at your finest right now. You're at your prime and you're doing so well. I would love to go to one of your concerts. I think it would be exciting and fun. So what are you saying? I mean, I don't know. You have so many girls that are talking to you, that like you, that want to be with you, that wants to be in your space and just want the limelight. And I just don't know how I feel about that. Okay, so I mean, there are gonna always be women in my limelight or whatever, but they don't really mean anything. Of course, that's what you're gonna say. I mean, you're on tour in Europe. The women there are beautiful. I mean, I'm excited to see you and everything. It's just like, I don't know, are you gonna wanna be with me because you're famous, or you wanna be with me because you like me, or you just wanna sleep with me and just leave me like you do all the other women? It's like, I don't know who to what trust. What the fuck are you talking about? Who the fuck? Did I sleep with and leave? Oh no, we I'm know serious. about you, Mr. Rockstar. Everyone knows. <laughs> I'm everyone serious. Knows. Everyone knows what? Who did I? Who, who did I sleep with and leave? 
I tell exactly. You I know, do you, not you tell don't secrets. Know anybody. I do not tell secrets. Yeah. But we've heard all the stories come about here. you Just and girls and okay. See, this right. is how, this is how you seduce them. I'm not. You tell them Just to come, come here. here. See, that's what you do. You give them that little smile and that little Just the lay touch. On my chest. That's what you do. Just lay on my chest. That's what I'm trying to avoid because if Brandon finds out about this. Okay, I won't say a thing. You're going to say something to Brandon? Of course I won't say anything to Brandon, okay. but I don't know. It's like, you're like big man on campus now, the rock star who's got hit records and he tours around Europe and, you know, has all these girls around him and want him and just want to be with him. That's you now. He had such beautiful lips. I'm Why, serious. thank you. Can I kiss them? Mm-mm-mm. See, that's what's going to happen. I'm going to kiss you. It's going to get to Brandon. Then it's going to be, be a big fiasco at the stupid party. Then everyone's going to be talking about it. And that's the last thing I need right before he graduates. Everyone talking about how Nelsie made out with the rock star. You're going to tell Brandon? Cut. We got to take that. I said, okay, no. it's okay. And everyone's going to talk about how Stacy made out with the rock star. And then I'm going to be the talk right at the graduation party. You're going to tell... No, see, uh, um, <laughs> Brandon. Okay. You gonna tell Brandon? No, I'm not gonna tell Brandon, but I know he's gonna find out because that's how everyone else find out about all the other girls. Just don't worry about it. And you always it. say that you won't say anything. That's Just don't worry say. about it. I want you. You know what I want, really. Is for you to just relax and just I'm glad that you came in here seriously because I was feeling down and I was like, you know what? There's everyone is just fucking just boring me at this dumbass party. Really? Yeah. And then you walked in, I was like, finally somebody who's I'm having a good time, Brandon's here. With. Everyone's here. Yeah. I mean it's time for us to reminisce on like what we've been through for the past couple of years. And you haven't been here for a couple of Come months here. at a time. Come here, please. I listen, I don't want this to just get out of hand. I don't want Brandon to find... I mean, I liked you for a while, and... Um, why are you telling me this now? I mean, like, honestly, like, I, look, let's just fucking be real with Brandon and all this shit. Is it because, like, I come back and, like, I'm this... Whatever. People call me no, a fucking big star no, or whatever. No, 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 no. Why are you no, telling no. me this shit now? It has nothing to do with you being a star. We, it has we had, like, three to do fucking with... classes together, and now it's graduation, I'm leaving, and you're like, oh... You know, by the way, I like you. Don't tell Brandon. It has I don't everything to do with you. me being Maybe with I Brandon. Don't kiss you. That's what it is. I've been with what, you for what, three what, years. So what? What? What do you want from me? Why are you telling I me this? I don't know. I don't know what I want. I I know I'm attracted to you, but I love Brandon. I and love Brandon. Okay, so your Brandon is out there probably making out with some chick. And like you're right here. Yeah, and I'm right here in a room with you. God and, knows. And grabbing my fucking abs. And, um, and, and like, what? What? You you just admit you're attracted that's to that me. That's that cocky rock star attitude. You never used to be like this before you went away. And you just changed. And that's another reason. Like, you used to be so I've nice. I've always and... been this way. Why does everyone keep saying that because I've changed? changed? I have not changed. You've changed. How? Just look in the mirror and look at yourself. You've changed. How? This is not you. What are you talking about? How have I changed? This is not you. This is not who you were. And you went away on tour and then you came back and you're this totally different person. It's just, you're different. It's like you just transform like a chameleon into just someone totally different. Stacy, do you still like me? I'm attracted to you, yes, but okay. I'm in love with Brandon. Why are you so upset? I don't it seems like you're always just like sad and upset and I just always see you kind of just being this person that I can't even relate to anymore. I'm not, uh, I don't know how to deal with this situation anymore. Like, I don't know what I'm, like what people want from me. Well, I understand because all, all I see over the last couple of months is you being upset, you getting back with him, and then you basically being more upset later on. It's like fight after fight after fight, and I feel like our friendship is simply, you know, means for you to be okay with the fact of being in a stressful relationship. Okay, it's not, 
So, I don't, you don't get our relationship. It's not just me going back to him over and over again. It's, I'm so sick of everything my parents are constantly telling me to be and, and what they expect me to be and what they want me to be and I Well, I mean, you know, I'm Indian as well and I have parents who expect certain things and I know how it is and I understand. But the fact is, is your relationship isn't healthy right now. And all I see you is being sad, upset. And I'm just here to help you as, as a friend, but it's hard for me to see you like this all the time. I... No one, no one gets this situation with me right now, okay? I, I'm not looking to try to satisfy you and everyone else that's in my life right now, okay? I just, I need to figure it out on my, on my own without you telling me what to do, without my freaking parents telling me what to do all the time. Well, I mean, the thing is, is like, I'm trying to be here for you. I'm trying to be very supportive of everything you want but uh, do you not see this pattern this pattern is so obvious and it's like up and down i don't even know what to do with you anymore like i can't talk to you you're always sad we can't hang out like we used to do and i just miss like being close to you and i don't really like him and i just feel that you really need do you have <laughs> Do you have to like him? No, I, I think I don't have to like him, but I think that if we're going to be friends, I think we should get along. What do you think? What do you want? What do you want? I just, I can't take all these expectations from me anymore. I, I can't. I can't. Everyone wants me to be a certain way. I have to, like, go and do this now. I have to go and do school for this. I have to date this kind of person. And I can't keep being everything. Well, you know I'm always here for you. And you know that I'm, like, trying to be supportive. But I don't want it, you to get hurt over and over again. And it just seems like every time I try to talk to you, every time I'm trying to help you, what I mean... What do you expect from me? Nothing. I'm just trying to be here for you. And I don't know really why you have to be so... Give me such such an attitude when... I'm not I... giving you an attitude. I want you to understand where I... How do you not understand this about me after all this time? Well, I mean... Yeah. How, like, how... How Actually, you sit here and tell me that I'm being this kind of way? Wait, how do you not understand how my parents... You know how my wait, parents wait, wait, are. Wait, wait, I know you really well. And what I'm saying is, I don't know you now. That's what I'm saying to you. I feel like this relationship has completely changed who you are. And that's why, yeah, you're right. I don't know you. And I can't relate to you. And, I mean, it's fine if... You know, you want to continue like this, but I think it's like pretty much the worst decision you've ever made. You have to listen to everybody else that cares a lot for you. I mean, obviously, you you really like the guy, but think about what is doing to you and changing you on a daily basis. I don't. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't. Am I supposed to marry, like, the perfect, like, Indian doctor guy and go to grad school and do medicine and engineering and get married when I'm 23 and just be everything that they want me to be? Well, I deal with the same thing every day. You... And my parents have the same stress. No, guys do not have it. The stress on guys is so... Oh, different. You would never know that. and you... I would know that. How? Okay, I see it every day with my brother. I, 
I see the difference that they, the way that they look at me and the way that they the, st the stresses are different. It's apples and oranges, and I don't feel like you can just play it off like you think it's much easier. Well, the I thing don't is, there's think other it's things. Much e I don't even know why. How do you why? understand it's not different? It is different, but it's different in ways where you can't say one is harder than the other. I mean, the. You, roles you are trying to tell me that being a Indian woman is not harder. I'm not Do you know that. the expectations that are on me? I have to be smart. I have to be pretty. I have to be a good wife. I have to be a good mom. I have to be all these freaking things that I don't know how to be. Okay, I have to be a good son. I have to good, be a good husband. I have to be a good provider and a good dad, just like you in reverse. And I feel like if you don't understand that there's both, you know, problems in men and women, Indians, and everything that we stand for, because growing up in America with Indian parents, for girls and guys is tough. And <laughs>